I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about alternating series. In problem number 53, we'd like to determine whether the following series converges absolutely, converges conditionally, or diverges. And the series is sum k going from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the k times k over 2k plus 1. All right, so how are we going to determine whether this series converges absolutely conditionally or diverges? Well, it really depends on the problem. Typically, what I would do on these problems is I'd say, okay, does it converge absolutely? So I want to get rid of the negative one to the k piece and look at what do I think about this thing? Well, I think I can go one step further. This thing I say, oh, that behaves sort of like a half, summing up a bunch of one halves. It's like, well, that seems to diverge. But uh, what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna jump straight to, does it even converge conditionally? And so I'm gonna use an alternating series test on this guy just to start right out. Because I look at it and I'm thinking, I don't think this thing converges at all because it kind of acts like adding up halves as k gets big. Okay, so let's just look at the limit as k goes to infinity of forget the negative one to the k of k over 2k plus 1. So what I'm doing here is I'm using an alternating series test to see if this thing converges if the negative one to the k's are in there, okay? Uh, and the reason I did this first is because I could see this thing is not going to zero. This is actually going to one half. So by the alternating series test, this guy must diverge. So I don't really need to worry about does it converge absolutely. It doesn't even converge conditionally. Okay, so just by using a quick alternating series test, I can say that the sum k going from one to infinity of negative one to the k times k over two k plus one uh, diverges by the alternating series test. And so this guy diverges.